pleasure. All booze provides 330% of recommended daily vitamins. Yo, 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 my chewers, shroomers, and fumers, Mr. White here. Drop that milk toast tibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Hey V, Michael called. Before sundown, out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Giving in. Hey, V, you ready? You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. 
And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. Got it? All right, we going in? Let's do this. additional losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the Nomad's camp. Screw it with my head. After the break, you two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Gotta jack into the panel on the other side. Oh, fuck. Why does everything... What? What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. You gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? They're inside at clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. to the balcony. Careful, though, okay? I'll be late. I On my mark! I Go! No, don't wait up. Fucking dinner! Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. Hey, 
touch the alarm. You hear Not if I got anything to say about it. Yeah, and CEO will test it himself. In the grip. <laughs> Beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker. Simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What's she planning? That's our at? target. Hiromi Sato. You don't have authority yet? <laughs> you sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy. And here we are, thanks to her. But a little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sado's private residence. As if that were not enough? This is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? 
Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you V, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. Get out of there. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Hello, I'm Jillian Jordan. Welcome Get down to street to level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gonk. Who cares if she was scheming? We did it. That's what matters. Clouds belongs to the dolls now. You're right. That was the plan all along. And you made it happen. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. And things. Yeah, at least I could do. So what's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding laws. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then... What do you think about constructs? Ah, yes. You mean the relic. A fascinal subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person, or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher, in your view? Buddhism does not condemn digitization per se. Vending machines often preach in temples. No, 
I will not condemn the simple act of transfer under the condition that they are at peace with it. One must still remember that they will still be imprisoned in their body, even if their body is not flesh. Immortality is new thing, I'm guessing. He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life and will never achieve nirvana. Let's say the engram was just a copy. What then? Could you say that person was real? If they are truly self-aware, a Buddhist will recognize them as a human being. A perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mind. But is it capable of reincarnation? And if it's not, can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul? What you're saying, in other words, is it's complicated. Suffering is key. He has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, he is a person. What's your take, Johnny? You just you or a copy? What difference does it make? You heard him. I'm trapped in a few lines of code. And your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead. Maybe you're just in... Well... What? Imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem. Not mine. You don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. <laughs>